Hi, I'm Mark, and you're watching Mark's Astro Journey. So in a prior video I had imaged the Triangulum, the Triangulum Galaxy, and um, some of the viewers left comments that I wasn't using a long enough exposure time. So I thought what I would do is I would try um, 120 second exposure time and then a 180 second exposure time and then do a little comparison to see how do those compare to my 15 second exposure time original imaging session. And so I put those together in this video, I'm showing all three of those kind of side by side, and then I show them in a sequence at, in a you know larger view after I show them all side by side. So let me know what you think. Um, I don't know that I can do like much longer than three minutes. I don't know about the mount I have, the Gym 28. It seems to do halfway okay with this three minutes, but uh, I'm not sure like, you know, I've heard others say four or five minutes, but I don't know if I can get the PhD2 guiding to be that precise. There's a little bit of backlash, no matter what I do, as far as like balancing, you know, managing the cables, all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyways, let me know what you think. If you think the two or three minute exposure time um, is a lot better result, or it just looks like it has more noise I'm also dealing with, you know, the limitations of my camera and, you know, it's going to be a little while before I go get another camera. So I'm just having fun seeing, you know, what I can do with this camera. It's, it is a planetary camera. It's not a cooled camera, but still, um, I think, you know, people who are new to this can see, you can still get some pretty decent images out of, you know, what's maybe not the higher end camera with the cooler. So. Hopefully that's in my future, but for now that's what I have. Enjoy.